Hi there, ready to install your Zerk C ONE TM retrofit kit? Great! I'll walk you through the steps and throw in a few tips along the way. But before we do that, your sensor retrofit kit should include these parts. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. First, remove the vandal resistant stop valve cover with your Allen wrench. Shut off the water supply by turning the stop valve screw clockwise until it turns no further. Next, flush the remaining water by actuating the manual flush valve handle. Next, remove the existing valve cap from the valve body with a smooth jawed wrench. Remove the internal cap and diaphragm from the valve body. Grab the new valve assembly and ensure the volume control ring is installed on the manifold stem. Before we install the diaphragm kit, ensure that the orifice on the diaphragm is oriented opposite of the control stop. Next, slide the diaphragm kit all the way onto the manifold stem. Thread the new valve assembly onto the valve body. Tighten the connection on the lock ring at least a third of a turn with the strap wrench into its proper position. Ensure the strap wrench is engaged on the lock ring and not the top part of the valve assembly. Remove the manual flush handle with a smooth jawed wrench. Install the handle cap seal, ensuring that the rubber gasket is in place. Tighten the connection with a smooth jawed wrench. Use the 332nds Allen wrench to loosen the internal set screw on the side of the valve cap. Remove the valve cap by turning it slightly counterclockwise and lifting straight up. Ensure the wire harness is disconnected before fully removing the cap. Flip the valve cap upside down. Loosen the battery compartment screw with your flathead screwdriver to remove the battery cap. Insert four AA batteries into the battery housing as depicted. Pro tip, do not mix lithium and alkaline batteries. Use one or the other. Reinstall the battery cap. Next, we'll connect the wire harness between the valve cap and valve body, as seen here. Reinstall the valve cap, making sure that the wire harness and wires are out of the way. Tighten the set screw on the valve cap with an Allen wrench to secure the valve cap into place. Next, open the control stop by turning the screw counterclockwise with your flathead screwdriver. This turns on the water supply to the flush valve. Then install the vandal resistant stop valve cover. Place a piece of cardboard or a light colored target at the desired sensor activation distance. Place the Zern Magic Magnet on top of the valve body's flat surface in this approximate location. The red status LED should illuminate for five seconds continuously. The valve will then enter calibration mode. After 10 quick LED flashes followed by a double flash, the new detection range will be calibrated and set. The valve has now entered range verification mode. Move the target back and forth from the sensor about 10 times. The LED will illuminate when the target is detected and then turn off when the target is out of range. Then remove the Zern Magic Magnet and your flush valve is ready for normal operation. I hope you found this installation video helpful. If you encountered issues, you can reach out to Zern's expert team for support. And check out our library of other how-to videos on our YouTube channel.